Today I have a real treat for you guys. My 9G qualification run to be able to fly the Gruppen fighter. My name is Max Willman. I'm a former Swedish Air Force fighter pilot on the Gruppen and let's go. Alright, so be sure to stick to the end to see the entire qualification run. So this movie that you're about to see, the film, is filmed in the DFS or the Dynamic Flight Simulator located in Linköping. It's one of the only three facilities in the world where you can do these kinds of uh, tests. Uh, it was built, built in the end of the 90s and was put into service in the beginning of the 2000s. And it's to try G-forces in a secure test environment for training. I'm just going to show you a small clip of how it looks like. There you see the centrifuge, uh, the inside of the cockpit. And yeah, this is how it is. Uh, you are strapped into that sort of egg uh, and you do the G-forces inside there. And you have a, a full up uh, cockpit inside of it uh, with displays and stick and everything. So you climb into here, into this uh, egg and in there is the cockpit and then it turns around like you saw in the movie. Uh, the egg or cockpit slightly tilts as well to make sure that the g-forces are in the correct way and this is how the, it looks when you're about to enter uh, the cockpit and climb down uh, flight physiological center and this is a picture of the inside so you have a full uh, seat and you uh, use your uh, pilot equipment you have the stick you have displays and everything and of course uh, different kinds of uh, instruments of how it looks and this is one thing you need to do before you are able to uh, fly the Gripen. You need to qualify 9G for um, for uh, 15 seconds is the Swedish uh, demand. And uh, this was my requalification that you need to do from time to time to be able to continue to fly. So it's both, uh, both of a training to make sure that your uh, anti-G maneuver, AGM maneuver is correct. And also to make sure that you are still uh, in, in good phys physical condition to be able to fly this. Uh, the video is in Swedish, of course, and this is me, a slightly younger <laughs> version of me. We're going to the checklist to make sure I know everything with emergency. And you see on top here, G set 1, so this is uh, on Earth today, there is one G-force, as you all know, that we're walking around in. This is my help here. Help me strapped in, he gets out and then we start the slow turn uh, with the simulator all, uh, in just one minute. You can also see the cables going in through here, measuring my heart rate. I have my uh, pants on, my, my anti-G pants. Uh, no anti-G uh, upper part though, and no helmet. Also no mask normally when you do these kinds of G-forces in the fighter aircraft, in the Gripen. Uh, the back of the helmet uh, inflates and you have uh, also high pressure breathing to, to make sure that you get air even so it's it's quite it's a little bit easier in the plane than in the uh, simulator and we are about to start the simulator soon uh, this simulator or humane centrifuge it consumes huge amounts of electricity of course Är du redo för Idle Max? Ja, är redo. Då kan vi aktivera. Och så tänker du på att sitta stilla med huvudet från och med. Now they're starting. Börjar vi snurra. The uh, movement of the simulator and it's uh, um, it's important to stay steady with your head because it's it feels a little bit strange in the simulator when it starts and you see the G forces climb here. And that's because even though it's on idle, idle. you have 1.4 Gs. And now we're doing the warm up, G warm up. It will go slowly up uh, until I decide to abort. And this is to make sure that your body is, is prepared, that your uh, receptors and everything is warmed up, and that you can train on the NGD maneuver. So, first I will sit relaxed, and when I need to, I will start uh, AGM, the NGD maneuver. 
and there's no air in the pans in this at this uh, uh, warm up so nothing to to push against so it's a little bit more difficult than normal you see the g climbing you can also see my face starting to look <laughs> a little less attractive <laughs> my legs i'm uh, putting pressure there I will see me using the whole AGM now. And you can see me, I released the stick there and the simulator went back to idle. You saw my body <laughs> rising again. So you see the pressure has put me down quite a bit. Talking about how it felt good, I say it felt. And you see that I, you know, I breathe with about three second intervals because if you keep breathing normally, uh, you will lose all the pressure. And you want the pressure built up in the body, in your muscles, to make sure that the blood doesn't flow from your. Uh, from your brain uh, into the muscles, which it would be. And now I'm ordering 7G because if you don't do this anti-G maneuver, you would lose conscience quite quickly. First you will lose your sight and then you will lose your conscience because there's no oxygen in the brain. So now I do my second warm-up. 7Gs, maximum build-up. Stick is hot. 70s coming up. Come in, holy, 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 andas. Benen, baken, andas. Bra job, Max, kör på här. Se bra ut, lugnt, stabilt, 10 sekunder redan. 10 seconds. Och 15 har vi där också. 15 seconds. Och håll benen spända hela vägen ner. I had some, uh, my sight was reduced slightly on the way up. And after two to three seconds, everything felt great. And we have, I decided to do the 9G qualification run now. So now you will see the 9G qualification. My instructor is talking about making sure that my to be have good intention when I start to make sure I don't uh, have anything uh, problem in the first part. Technique looking good. First part is most important. And if there's a problem, I can just release, release the stick to make sure that the G goes down. Let's go. Say till you're ready. Ready. Activate. Stick is hot. Come here, Max. Mind you. Yeah, holy, 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 holy. Ah, and that. Benen, magen, and that. Benen, magen, and that. Ah, the bra job, Max. Job at pull here. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Nice. It's a bra job. Twelve seconds. Bra job at. Fint tryck. Femton seconds. Fifteen. Stabilt. 20 seconds. Härifrån såg det bra ut, kontrollerat. Ja, det kändes som på 7G. Tvält är sånt, så vi gör. Inte någon syn den här gången. Lite från början också. Första 2-3 sekunder. Ja. Slight on this side. Ja. When I was up, it was okay. Uh, on 90s. Instructor says it felt good. That it looked good. And 
and uh, was a, a short debrief with my instructor there. You did a, you do a bigger debrief once you get out, but uh, all in all, it felt really good. Uh, slightly more than 20 seconds. Uh, the demand is uh, 15 seconds, 9G. And this is something you need to do if you want to fly the Gripen in the Swedish Air Force. Obviously, you go through the training first to train, and then uh, you uh, do the test. We also do uh, a sort of a mini qualification run uh, when we do uh, the test to be to start flying, uh, to become a, to start the pilot training. And that test is slightly less uh, aggressive, of course, uh, but it's just to see that you don't have any medical issues with the G forces. Some people are actually have uh, uh, genetics that make them unable to pull any uh, larger numbers, uh, numbers of uh, Gs, which is, of course, problematic if you are to be a fighter pilot. And as you saw, my beautiful face became slightly less beautiful during 90s, uh, almost like Quasimodo was out flying, but that is the way. Uh, m being a fighter pilot doesn't make you prettier. It's a hostile environment to pull a lot of Gs but it is uh, of course uh, worth it but that's all i had for today please uh, give me a thumbs up like the video subscribe to my channel ring the bell for notification and if you want to uh, please support me by buying me a coffee from coffee uh, things like that make this uh, channel possible so consider that and until next time as always fly safe